needs some support. Gets it from the captain. And penalty goes against the Kiwis. Noel Smith was over the ball for England. Yeah. I used to do ballet, and um, after ballet on a Saturday, I'd go and watch my brothers play rugby down the local rugby club with my dad. He was one of the coaches there as well. And yeah, I went to ballet, got a bit bored on the sideline, and I'm a bit, a little bit interact, like a bit too hyperactive anyway. Decided I was going to join in, and haven't stopped since then, really. <laughs> Good luck, Miss Noel Smith. Woo! Working in primary school is is my perfect job because I get to play with the kids all day and <laughs> it's and it's my job so no it's brilliant and you definitely need energy through that I think it's quite a tiring job but it's I wouldn't change it for the world it's so rewarding and yeah I teach you two at the moment so they're like six years old they're little legends they bring such raw enthusiasm to your day and they just come out of the funniest things and I think working alongside children just just their their, lip, their banter, just actually, it puts such a, like a smile on your face and I think that's why I'm kind of like that outside of this classroom as well because I think actually we should bring back more of the kind of innocence of children and like their enthusiasm. I missed out on the EPS that year. I was devastated but actually after I've taken myself, I took myself out of that situation and thought about I put so much pressure on myself to perform. I was get I started to, to not enjoy rugby anymore. I went away and I did CrossFit, I did a bit of rugby league, I just branched out a little bit. And I really got myself back into loving rugby again and then Fergie was willing to take a chance on me again. So in 2015 I got a phone call from him and he said, Look, I, I want you to be back in my EPS squad. And he's like, it's not going to be easy for you. For somebody to put, to actually give you that opportunity, it's, it's not like you're just doing it for yourself. You're doing it for him. I don't want to let him, I didn't want to let him down. But I've also, also, I'd gone from having 10 caps then to now I've been under Fergie. I've had, I've got 29 caps going into, um, hopefully into the rest of the season. And I think you just grow in confidence. And he really gave me that confidence back again in myself. and. Mainly, it's realise why you do the sport and why you love it.